Space is Russia's anti-crisis project today. Space technologies can help put the national economy on modern, innovative tracks and ensure state security. In spite of indeed global financial crisis, we'll continue investing money into the space industry. We'll invest in Russian science, production, defense technology industry. The federal government unitary enterprise Russian Research Institute of Space Instrument Making has been in the space industry for more than 60 years. Systems of radio control and rockets, piloted spaceships and orbital stations were developed right here. Devices from the institute are installed on nearly all space vessels, though inventions of RNIIKP space technologies come to every human life. GLONASS in collaboration with International System of Search and Rescue Cospan Sarset, space pictures made with distant Earth probing apparatus, all that is zone of responsibility of Russian Research Institute of Space Instrument Making. Institute has its own unique test base and experimental factory. Apart from developing instruments, making a product and offering services based on this or that system, our institute also strives to help our clients with all their problems and offers them an invigorating picture of life. More than 50 Russian regions are already making use of space systems. GLONASS receivers are installed on vehicles of patrol service, traffic police and security companies. Calling the rescuers. You can be sure, thanks to space technology, they will react fast. Rescue service. Alarm system triggered? We'll check now. Emergency with space technology becomes real fast. Sometimes only a few moments can save a human life. They can see where crews are, can react quicker, call comes faster, and they can see which team to send. On the basis of orbital maps, three-dimensional models of cities are being created. It's very useful for architects and town planners. The Center of Science of Operative Earth Monitoring, RNIIKP, receives and processes space information from Russian and foreign satellites of distant probing of Earth. Space photos are used by different ministries and agencies. With their help, it's possible to observe technological and nature cataclysms to create maps of resources and to control their rational use. From space, you can see every deforestation up to a single tree. The Russian city of Sochi is being prepared for Winter Olympic Games of 2014. The Greater Sochi, whose coastline stretches for 105 kilometers, there is big construction work now going on. And here, space technology comes in very handy. Now in Sochi, there is system project developing. It's vitally important for us. When regional authorities will understand and trust the abilities of space technology and start using them, then we'll get the feedback. It will give a strong impulse for development of systems and orbital groups. A three-dimensional model of Krasnaya Poliana Mountains and ski track was built on the basis of orbital photos. GLONASS allows to control the movement of vehicles, timing of resource shipment, fuel consumption and even traffic regulations. Sochi will be the first city in which all public transportation vehicles will be set up with GLONASS receivers. Orbital navigation will help both local dwellers and guests of the Olympic capital. 
electrical screens at bus stops will show passengers when next bus will arrive, if there are traffic jams on route, and will help to plan timing. A new bridge across the Yenisei River near Krasnoyarsk is the first serious example of national economy use of GLONASS. It is unique in its connection with the orbit. System GLONASS monitors even the slightest movement of space bridge support piers, controls it to stay in allowed numbers. Vehicle movement on the bridge is also under system control. With GLONASS receiver, your children and elderly parents will be always in supervision. Such small devices are called trackers. At the dawn of the space era, dogs play the big role in research of near space. Today, GLONASS system returns the favor with helping pets and their owners. <laughs> This is the first Russian orbital tracking collar. It was presented to a wide audience by a beloved pet of Russian Prime Minister Vladimir Putin, Labrador Connie. The device is attached to a simple collar. With this device, dog missing science will become history. <laughs> The tracker collar weighs 170 grams. It consists of GPS, GLONASS module and battery. For energy-serving purposes, the device has a motion tracker. When pet rests, the device is not working. The tracker is more than just a trendy toy. Sometimes it becomes indispensable. For example, during rescuing people from landslides, equipped on dogs, collar tracker boosts efficiency of rescuers' work. <laughs> In the early 2008, GLONASS was first tested on the landing of Ilyushin 76 plane in the Antarctic. The orientation was completely done by Russian satellites. The landing was successful. Accuracy of devices measurements was 3 to 10 meters. A historical occasion. Before this, all planes in Antarctica were landed visually, so pilots were chosen from the very best available. In polar areas, GLONASS is working more confidently than GPS. In the near future, GLONASS will establish a permanent residence in the Antarctic. This is a continent governed by international law and where we are going to set up a GLONASS monitoring station. Its other asset is its location, because GLONASS mainly covers northern latitudes rather than equatorial ones Having such stations close to polar areas is a real asset indeed. Another system that passed polar exams in the Arctic and was also developed with the help of the RNIIKP and started from 1978 is the international program COSPAS SARSAT, which saves today up to 100 lives monthly. This is a personal boy from COSPAS SARSAT system, which is equipped with a GLONASS GPS receiver for maximizing measuring accuracy characteristics of crash coordinates. In emergency situations, a special radio boy turns on and sends a signal SOS every minute. SOS transmits to data processing center. Help comes instantly. Specialists of RNIIKP have developed onboard equipment for new navigational satellite GLONASS K, which will work in orbit for 10 years. For rescuing systems, they develop a small space unit of new generation STIR. Equipment of COSPAS SARSAT will be installed on new GLONASS K2. Such multifunctional systems are the future of Russian cosmonautics. Human progress is our main mission. It helps humanity to develop, to outcome the boundaries of life quality which are now habitual. So the entire humanity could break those boundaries and start living better and longer. The Russian Research Institute of Space Instrument Making, working for boundless and infinite humanity progress. Thank you.